Hey guys, how to me here today? I'm showing you guys a cool new video. It's the best way to customize your Android status bar right up here. No root, and you don't even need Jelly Bean to do this. Let's begin this video. Alright guys, so here I'm going to unlock my phone here. You can see here I have the Galaxy Note 2. I have CyanogenMod 10.1. I do have Jelly Bean 4.2.2, so I do have that uh, quick settings already enabled, you can see there. But I'm just going to show you guys a cool new way to actually enable quick settings, uh, change your status bar up here, customize it, change the battery, change the time, anything you want, so that way you guys can get the most out of your phone. So here I got a couple apps for you guys to check out. First app I have is called One Tap Quick Bar. Now this is pretty sick, it's free by the way. Anyway, when you go into the app, you can see here it includes the quick settings. If you add a new one, it includes all the designs. So if I want quick toggles to be enabled up here like that, then I can just go choose that one. I don't know, choose auto sync. Uh, maybe I just want auto, auto brightness, all of those. I just want to remove a couple. Then if you scroll right through, you can actually put like apps which is really nice. If I want, I can put messaging up there. I can put uh, nice shortcuts there as well. I also have contacts as well. Uh, over here, I can do contacts. If I want to call someone instant, instantly, I can do that. Now, if I want to add as many as I want, I can't do that. You have to get the full version. But for now, the max, if you get the free version, is only six. And also the design up here, you have another section where you can choose what kind of status bar you want. I usually like to choose this one, mainly because it looks nice, very simple. Uh, so I'm just going to choose that one for now. And then I'm going to choose the icon set. I like to choose that one because it looks a little jelly bean like. Text color, you can choose a text. Text is fine for me. The status bar icon, uh, you can choose different colors, the day of the month, all that stuff. Anywho, you can apply it. And automatically there, your notification bar refreshes. And in the settings, you can actually see it right there. So if I want to disable uh, the Wi-Fi, it disables. Turn it back on. Uh, let's see here. Turn it back on and my notification automatically turns on my Wi-Fi. So it's a pretty cool app, come check it out, and that's how you add quick settings to your notification. So the next one I have is called Notification Toggle, it's free, now this is another one for quick settings, if you didn't like the other one, come check out this one, this one has a nice jelly bean look to it. Here you can see it's very easy to use, you just enable the toggles, they have a bunch to choose from. You can actually have two toggles at once, so if you want, you can have different toggles, so you can see up there, it includes those. I have a lot that I enabled, so I have a bunch. I, you can do as many as you want, and they'll just get smaller and smaller, so you can, they actually all work, you just tap on it and it enables it, or you can have a double one where they're just really gigantic. And they're always there, never go away, so it's really nice, and you don't even need Jelly Bean to use this. You can also do custom apps as well. Right there, you can add apps, do any app you want, they're loading it, and then you can choose it, you can do shortcuts, anything you want. Now, what I really like about this app is that it doesn't like limit the size of your uh, expansion, on the notification to it, it's always there and it takes, and then you can do as many toggles as you want, even includes two. So that's the benefit of having this app. Plus it's free, so you don't have to pay a cent for it. And then in here, you can actually choose the icon colors. You can choose them right there. And you have a lot of more customizations. You can download alternative icons. You can change the toggle order, so if you want, you can change it like that. Notification toggle. All right guys, so let's check out this other app. It's called Charge Bar. Now this one's free, and I think it goes great with any phone. So if I enable it, it's actually going to put a battery bar application all the way at the top. So if I just enable it, hide it full screen, you can actually see there, it's at the very top. If I take my phone and I show you it, you can see there, that's how much I have battery left. And it's in my notification. I can actually change it so it goes to the position. I can change it to the bottom of the screen so it goes all the way to the bottom. Or I can change it all the way to the bottom of the status bar, so the way that the bottom of the status bar. And it also has that charging animation when you charge your phone. So let me just show you guys. If I plug in my phone there, you can see it has a charging animation. It goes all the way to the side of the phone and charges automatically. It doesn't use a lot of battery at all. It's actually always there and it never really changes. So I like to have that there. And it also, when you're going into like giant full screen apps, it actually goes away so it doesn't stay there. So come check that out. That is Charge Bar and it's free. The last app I have to make your status bar completely different, you can have Super Status Bar and this app is free. The full version, which includes a lot of features, is $3.99. So if I enable it here, you can see there, it changes the whole notification automatically. If I get my phone, you can see the status bar is not the same as it used to be. I can change anything from the going to the general, I can change the startup, the, I can change it to be like completely in the background so it's transparent. You can change the appearance, anything you want. 
as well as date, the carrier, the panel, the toggles, and the weather. In toggles, you can enable all of them. So if I just enable them, it's a really nice app. Going to the home screen, it, it's always there. Very, very nice. You don't even need root. Uh, if you scroll it down, you can see that it's very, very different from the original one that comes with your phone. So here you go. You can see you have toggles down here. You can actually enable it so you can add widgets if you get the premium, but the premium costs a lot of money and you have an option here to see your recent apps that you downloaded onto your device. Very, very nice application. You have the weather up here, all the timings, the dates, and it's always there for you to check out and try out. So you can change everything on your notification. So I know a lot of you guys told me to make this video and I did. Hope you guys liked it. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It will help me out a lot. And also please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I will be making more videos just like this one in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!